We are ready, my king. Tell me, Venekis. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta!
senses your head! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter! Come, Persian! I will bring Xerxes your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! Your bloodline ends today, Spartan! I'll get drunk on your blood as the crows feed on your eyes! You will cry, and you will fail! Xerxes is the king of kings! All will bow before him after I crush you! Come, fool! Enough talk! Time to die! My son is more of a warrior than you! Once I'm done with you, king, all of Sparta's sons will be slain! Xerxes! Sparta's sons would rather die! <laughs> that can be arranged! No match for a Spartan! We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They're coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today... ...was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow... ...is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just died of Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off... If this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours.
He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! To start the Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Shit face! Get down here! Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. Thanks for last week! <laughs> Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough. So act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. <whistles> nah. Thanks for the warning. Ah. <sighs> What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. <sighs> what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka. It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe.
I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. My head. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak, if he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. <laughs> Get this on. That's what I get for sparing you. No manners. Now's our chance. Go! There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Guess this is the vineyard. Straight ahead. I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexios, thank the gods. Phoebe found you, you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Zuris. You know Zuris. He's very nice. Zuris? How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. After I threaten him? Exactly. Everybody benefits. Zuris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine. But I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? That one. On the right. Ah, uh, a uh, uh, fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. There they are. I'll sneak up on the Malakas. <laughs> Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. Tall grass will keep me hidden. Don't let the rest of those malakas get away. Eh? Who's whistling? Marcos is going to be next. Oh. 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 Time to get Phoebe out of here. You all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay. 
I've got you, and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? <coughs> You'll have to be stronger than that! <laughs> Again, up. Yes, Butter. A Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Hmm. Ready your stuff. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight, we are having baby Cassandra. <laughs> and what a feast she will be. Take me instead, I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Lay her in bed. Yes, Pater. Alexios. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, the mercenary. Oh, am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Feast? That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Sami, Duris will be at the shop. Oh. Oh. Alexis, good to see Off we go now. <clears throat> Get your boats here, good for the whole family. Got a shout to do, Alexios?
Hello, Thuris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? Uh, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Duris. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you're going to pay. We both know it. The question is, what do I break first? You or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it. Once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. Hey, stop! That's my stuff! Yeah. All right, all right. I'll pay you. Just stop. Fine. The man is yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Doris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Alexios, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. You've made an idiotic promise, Marcos. One we can't keep. I thought you were invincible. Maybe I am, but you're not. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! 
You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Think about it. Wait! Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Alexios in on the details. He already has a plan to deal with these bandits. He's the silent but deadly type. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Alexios, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I could be a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies. Go! Come on. Not a moment too soon. The Cyclops is more important than a boyer. We need to talk. Precisely what I was thinking. Let's hope Drusilla has a good sense of humor. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of drachmi to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. 
He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <sighs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rachmi, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still, or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Alexios. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. Now to find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marcos says, it will be hidden. Yep. Come on, come on. Hello, I. I see you. I should try to stay out of I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Malaka. Must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view.
Come on. Do you know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. Right. Your fun, my blood. You can't keep dragging me into things, Marcos. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here, Marcos. Uh, wait! I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops. And he brought friends. He's back. Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. The abandoned house and the people. Come on, 